Hey guys, it's Wes back here with another video. I'm uh, bringing you another autograph review. Uh, as you can see, I got uh, some glasses signed by uh, Coco Beware. Um, let's see, I got these autograph. Um, it was WrestleCon in New Orleans uh, two years ago, I think. Um, yeah, he was one of uh, one of many that I met there. Uh, that WrestleCon is still my favorite, uh, just wrestling con all together, uh, you know, including like, uh, you know, River City and all these other ones, uh, that, that one is just one of my favorites, um, but yeah, I got these off eBay, the glasses itself, um, I would think I paid around $14 for them. I did pay up for them. Uh, they're not like licensed or anything, but they are, uh, I believe, according to the guy, they got them in the, uh, like those loot crates that they have, wrestling loot crates. Uh, you subscribe every month and, you know, you get a bunch of stuff, uh, you know, random things, 8x10s and just toys, and but it's all wrestling. And I guess one of the months they had this and, I was selling it. Um, this is pretty much identical to what Coco wore in the WWF there. Uh, as you can see, let's see if it focuses. It does have uh, his name on the side there in red. Um, pretty cool. It also has it on the other side. No, it does not. <laughs> Only one side. Uh, which is cool because... Uh, they're basically my Macho Man uh, glasses that I wear uh, for cosplaying as him. Uh, funny story, actually, because uh, that day, I think it was, I, I want to say it was, I want to say it was Friday for some reason. I don't think it was Saturday. I want to say it was Friday, uh, but anyways, I was wearing my Macho Man costume. And, uh, you know, I went up to him and said, hey, how you doing? You know, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so I think we, uh, yeah, I handed him the, these glasses first. And, you know, he's looking at them and stuff. And uh, he goes, can I have these? I'm like, uh, you know, not really saying no, but I'm like, uh, well, they're, they're, uh, and for me to autograph for you, he's like, well, the ones on your head looks the same. How about we switch out? And I'm like, God, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I just end up actually giving him the Macho Man pair. Um, you know, I I look back on it kind of, I mean, it's kind of messed up. I mean, I probably should have gave him these since it had his name on the side there. I uh, believe he did have his wife there and he was taking pictures with it of, of these with it on so that's pretty cool um but yeah he, he really wanted it and i'm like yeah i literally bought him just because of that thing on the side there that's literally the only reason but uh, yeah i just told him here you can have mine and he took the uh, macho man pair and i was left without a pair of glasses uh but uh, it was towards the end of the day, so it was all good. Um, but yeah, just uh, one of those unique autographs for sure. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, let's see, without the glare. He's signing like a blue uh, paint marker. Uh, so you put WWE, Coco Beware, Hall of Fame 09. And I like how he draws a bird in there. It's just... I don't know, it's just one of my favorite autographs. It's up there with, like, Sergeant Slaughter, how he draws his face on there. Um, but, yeah, it's just one of those cool little things. Uh, if I would have gone back, I probably would have just given him this. But, you know, I was just so tempted. 
You know, like I said, I paid fourteen dollars for these, and I think those Macho Man glasses were like eight bucks. So it's like I could have just, like I said, had them signed. But it has that, you know, his uh, logo there or his uh, signature there on the side or whatever you want to call it, Exignia, I guess. And then another thing, I probably would have had them uh, make it out to Wes, but it's all good. He was great, though. He was really nice. Uh, did the uh, the Birdman pose with me. I did my Macho Man pose. Uh, he was really awesome. So, uh, But yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. Um, let's see. I think this Wednesday I'm doing the uh, top five future celebrities I want to meet. I've been liking those a lot. Uh, not so much the editing part, but uh, I, I really like doing them. Uh, and then I think next Sunday, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for next Sunday. I can do another autograph review, but uh, I am going out of town. Meet some wrestlers. Uh, I think I told you guys last week. Uh, it's a free event. It's about, I think, two hours away, two and a half and uh yeah it's got tugboat gangrel jimmy hart and tony atlas so hopefully that still goes on as of right now it is it's like a little festival i uh, went down there to meet uh it was actually tugboat bushwhacker luke jimmy hart and beefcake uh, mean gene was actually supposed to be there but uh fortunately he wasn't uh, able to make it there um, but yeah, it's the same, basically the same event, free autographs. I, me and my buddy, I mean, we spend so much money on these autographs and, uh, you know, it's cool to get them free once in a while, you know. Um, but yeah, so I might do, if I do, because it is a two-day event, uh, we're going to be staying up there, going to flea markets and stuff. And there might be, uh, so yeah, I might do a video of an autograph haul, uh, but if not, it'll just be another autograph review video um if anything i'll just do it that next wednesday if anything um but yeah guys that's about it uh thanks for all the comments and all the uh, all the views uh thank you for all the subscribers and uh, anyways guys you guys take care and have a good one ladies and gentlemen it's time for your main event. Coming down the aisle, Wes, the Autograph Acquirer.